Welcome to Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu Incorporated. Today's video is going to be on the guillotine choke. So I'm not going to talk about the setups too much. I'm just going to talk about the fundamental mechanics. I'm talking to the people that will get the guillotine and don't quite get it. So let me add a little bit more detail. I hope that will up your percentage on taps and I hope you enjoy. Blair, come on in. Thank you very much. So from guard, he's got good posture here, I can't really attack. To take away this, I'm just going to swim my hands underneath, flare the arms out as I bring my knees to my chest. That takes away his posture a little bit. I just want to frame, put the foot on the mat, and shrimp out. From here, the hand comes to the back, I could attack a hip bump, I could attack um, a bent arm lock, but from here I just take the arm and come around for the guillotine choke. I want to make sure my underarm is behind his neck to make my arm long so I can have more pressure around his neck when I apply the choke. So from here, now this hand that comes in the back, I want my hips out to support my body weight. So when I wrap around the neck, I want to grab at the wrist and then pull across as much as I can. So once I'm here, I grab at the wrist, I pull across like an ankle lock, I lift up and pump my chest out to get the tap. If, and most likely, he's going to drive me on my back, as he drives me on my back and I have the grip, I close my guard and I extend. And I get the tap. If I don't, Here's the money shot. Here's the additional detail. I'm just going to rotate my body. And I get to tap. No muscle, no strength required. Check it out over on this side. So one more time. He's got me in posture. I take it away. I swim. Bring my knees to my chest. Bring his body up. I frame. I shrimp out. I could attack bent arm lock if I want but I'm going for the guillotine. Or maybe I was in a bent arm lock and I didn't quite feel it, I may want to transition to a guillotine choke. So I make sure my underarm is right up against his neck, make my arm long, I reach not behind, it can be done, a lot of the different variations of the guillotine choke, this is just one of them, I come in front, I reach for my wrist and I bring it across and I lift up, pop my chest out, get the tap. If he drives me back on my back, which most likely will be the case, I close my guard and I stretch. If I don't get it, this is my favorite step right here, it's just the rotation of the body. And I get to tap. Ah, thank you, Blair. So that's the guillotine choke, step by step. I'm talking about it, I'm teaching it very slow, but obviously as you get better at your reps and you're applying it against an uncooperative partner when you're sparring, you want to start chaining your steps together to make it a complete flow motion to up your percentage. Again, the last step for me, the rotation of the body, not adding no strength or power to it to me is the most important one. It turns your neck, really cuts the blood and the air supply and you get the tap. Play with it, I hope it works, and I look forward to seeing you in the mat soon.